AX THE FOOD TAX. KANSAS LAWMAKERS APPROVED A PLAN TO ELIMINATE THE GROCERY TAX BY THE YEAR 2025. KSN'S ALEXIS PADILLA LIVE IN STUDIO. AND ALEXIS, THIS WILL CERTAINLY IMPACT ALL OF US. Mm -hmm. BRETT, THIS PLAN WOULD BE BEGINNING TO HAPPEN IN PHASES STARTING JANUARY 1ST NEXT YEAR. KANSAS CURRENTLY HAS THE SECOND HIGHEST SALES TAX ON GROCERIES AT 6.5%. REMOVING THAT EVEN OVER THREE YEARS, ONE ECONOMIC EXPERT SAYS WILL SLOWLY ADD UP. After you've had months of losing a little bit more, a little bit more every single month, this is going to take some pressure off. Thursday night, lawmakers passed a plan to eliminate the food tax. Economic expert Jeremy Hill says low income families have the most to gain. They're much more very budget sensitive and they have a higher share that goes to that grocery store. So reducing that creates a lot more cash into their pocket. The tax will be dropped to 4% next year and 2% the following, then completely gone in 2025. People who work and who live paycheck to paycheck, a few extra bucks in the pocket, a few extra hundreds of dollars a year can make a huge difference in terms of having a comfortable and stable uh, lifestyle. Governor Laura Kelly called the move a win for Kansans, but pushing for a sooner start date as grocery prices rise with inflation, saying, quote, I call on the legislature to move the inflammation date up to July 1st, 2022. We owe it to Kansans to get this done and get it done immediately. Hill says even the January 1st start date will make a difference. They've gone through six, nine months, and actually by that time, 15 some months of just inflation continuing to erode their earnings and spending power. Coming to January will still give them some relief and get some dollars back. The next step is for Governor Kelly to sign the bill. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.